So I learned something the other day. Two of my closest friends, uh, when they talk amongst each other, have given me the nickname YouTube Sensation. <laughs> God, I hate them. Hey guys! Hey guys! What's going on everyone? So first things first, I wanna give a big shout out to Tyler Preston 20 for turning me on. For turning me on to the video that I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, look, for, for a second you guys thought that I was seriously. So this video is called Dear Hollywood, Stop Portraying Muslims as Terrorist. And it's by the beautiful channel Vox. And they, you know, they just have a lot of good content. You know, it's just a lot of spicy meatballs. So let's just do it. Let's just jump right into this motherfucker. I loved the 1980s when Chuck Norris used to kill swaths of my people with a machine gun in some brown booyah base of a country. It was awesome to watch. Absolutely, man. I'm ecstatic that we're on the same page. Muslims are always terrorists. Violent terrorists. Terrorists. Bad people. Shows like 24. Hello, Holy shit, you know, I've actually never watched 24 before this, but I don't know, after seeing that, I think I'm gonna give it a shot. Through lies. The last thing you will see will be your blood spraying across his face. Man, so what? True Lies is a great fucking movie. You constantly have this reinforcement of very negative image of Muslims. There was like these cardboard angry stock brown characters. Oh, no! Who used to waste bullets shooting machine guns in the air, which I thought was very inefficient. No son of immigrants would ever be that wasteful. Are you implying that all Muslim people are immigrants? I don't, I don't even understand. What is that? I don't even understand how that's a fucking point. Maybe you're just trying to be funny, but you failed. But maybe you didn't, because you made me laugh a little bit. Muslim women are always portrayed as like the oppressed woman, the terrorist, or the hyper-patriot. Well, first of all, Muslim women under Sharia law are insanely oppressed. I mean, I don't need to get into that, but most people watching this already know that. And there's nothing wrong with being a hyper-patriot. Being a terrorist, I mean, it's just a reality that some Muslims or some Arabs or whatever are terrorists. A lot of people are fucking terrorists. You know, there's terrorists that, there's just terrorists across the board. But yeah, we can't ignore the fact that there are some fucking Muslim terrorists. So why not portray them accurately like that in some Hollywood films? I mean, come on. I remember when I was a kid, I would pray that like Bart Simpson became Muslim, or I'd pray that Spider-Man became Muslim, because we didn't have any role models. Okay, I will say one thing to that is I kind of understand where he's coming from, you know, because me growing up in, you know, the United States and being like a little black kid, there wasn't a lot of like, say, superhero, black superheroes and stuff like that, and so when there was a good one, say like Jon Stewart, the Green Lantern, he, like, he, fuck, I gravitated to him so much. I, I thought he was the fucking best. And it wasn't just because he was black. He's also a badass character. Some would argue that he's the best Green Lantern. I certainly think so. And um, for, for reasons, I, I don't want to get into that. You know, that's just a whole nother discussion for a whole nother fucking day. But I kind of understand that. But the answer isn't to bitch and moan at Hollywood and just demand them to change and be like, things need to be like this, they need to be more inclusive or yada yada. I think it's that you just find people that are interested in creating other type of characters or you can just create them yourself and maybe you can have a large uh, jumping off point. The internet is amazing now to where you can kickstart campaigns and stuff and get raise a lot of money for things to actually be funded. If things are good enough, they can actually succeed very well. So yeah, my Muslim friend, I understand where you're coming from, but being a part of this fucking video is not gonna fix a goddamn thing. If you could create a Muslim protagonist, what would they be like? A black man with an African name who was elected president. Just kidding. Oh, shit, god damn, that, that, woo, that, you see, can you see my knee? God damn, that was some good shit. I would love to see a Muslim character who saves the day a Muslim woman who's at the forefront fighting the system, fighting oppression. Pump the fucking brakes. Is that Linda Sarsour, that broad that organized the Women's March and the, the Day Without Women that got arrested for impeding traffic, that champions Sharia law that oppresses women? Uh, <laughs> oh Lord, give me sweet death. Who's like binge watching television, who like really loves donuts, like who's very bad at bowling. An awkward guy that sweats a lot. And look, he's eating chicken biryani and uh, you know watching Game of Thrones so basically you want the average American that that's what you want I mean 
you realize that that's boring as shit, right? And nobody would want to watch that. Like, you say, like, you're doing your your thing. You just get home from a hard day's work and stuff, and you're eating your food. You're sitting on your couch. You turn on the TV, and then you see exactly what you're fucking doing. Would you watch that? Would you would you find that entertaining in the slightest? Or you'd be like, this is fucking boring. I want to watch some, some fucking people getting blown up by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then you, you realize that, oh, maybe this makes me feel a little bit bad, but it's quite entertaining. And that's really the portrayals that I want to see, like just normal human beings. Uh, but now you have shows like The Night Of, where at least we're getting accused of crimes of passion for once, as opposed to terrorism. So we're slowly moving on up. This is such fake outrage. Like you can tell, like say, you don't give a fuck about what you're really saying. And if you do, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I mean, we could beat this horse to death and say shit like, why don't you guys talk about things like Sharia law, how fucked up some things are, how oppressed some women are, how the hijab is actually oppressive and it's not fucking liberating and, and culturally beautiful and stimulating or wh however you want to call it. You can get stoned to death for adultery. You can be punished for being raped. You can get acid thrown on you. You can get fucking whipped. All this horrible stuff that happens to women and shit like that and horrible things that happen to like say some uh, other religious people like say Christians in the area that can get set on fire. So many different problems. You want to ignore all that shit and you want to talk about Hollywood. But look, obviously I, I bit. I'm, I'm, re I'm reacting to this video so le let me stay on topic. Now, obviously there's not a lot of Muslim protagonists or whatever, Arabs, whatever you want to say, because I don't really think it's just about being Muslim. I think it's about being Arab. I think it's more of a race thing than a religious thing. But one thing that I've noticed that people always tend to look over, you know, a huge oversight is that Hollywood is based in the United States of America where there isn't a large or massive Muslim population. And this is what people always say, oh, uh, Oscar's so white, this and that. And I'm like, dude, do you realize where these movies are being made. I mean, are, do you want to go somewhere like Bollywood and go fuck with Indians and be like, hey guys, there's there's not enough in there's not enough black people or white people in these fucking Bollywood roles where there are fucking like a billion Indians in this area. So we're obviously going to employ a lot of Indians and we're gonna talk about Indian stuff. And every once in a while, if we're talking about something different, like if we're gonna talk about some black culture or whatever, we're probably gonna bring up the, the stereotypes because they're fucking entertaining. I mean, can we just be fucking real for a second? It's the same reason why you see a lot of Asian roles and so on in the United States. It's, it's just because of demographics. I can get very deep into that. But the thing is, let's just not pretend that there's no positive like Muslim roles or anything out there at all. I mean, one of the major and most influential people in the world, Muhammad Ali, is a Muslim or was a Muslim because he passed away. And so there's like a big one or something. And one of my favorite movies, it bombed in the box office, but it was called The 13th Warrior. And it was starring Antonio Banderas, sure he's Spanish and stuff, but he plays an Iraqi, uh, like a poet and he's just fucking with some Norse people. It's a great fucking movie. It's, he's charming. It's just like, it, it, he's smart. He's fucking a great warrior. It's just like a great role for say people that, that are uh, considered Muslim or that are from that region. So I would say people that haven't seen the 13th War, maybe check it out. Maybe you'll disagree, but like, this is a fucking shit movie. But if that's what you think, I, you, you're wrong. So this video is just another example of building mountains out of molehills, you know, uh, th things aren't as bad as they are, and I, at the same time, well, I understand what they're saying, but from my point of view, overall, who cares? I don't know, maybe I'm being too insensitive, maybe my video is gonna get demonetized because I'm talking bad and saying something negative about Muslims, and I've seen that happen to a lot of people. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope that this is just a nice uh, discussion that we can have and, and, and further uh, on that. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think that people are just freaking the fuck out for no goddamn reason? Or do you think that they have some uh, some valid points and maybe we should try to paint, paint maybe a more positive uh, image of like Muslims and stuff and maybe it would actually, people can come together. Maybe there would be less hatred and stuff like that because I understand that a little bit too. I just don't know if um, uh, movies and stuff like that is genuinely, uh, genuinely the answer or generally. Genuinely or generally? And uh, that's it. So you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. It's going to be a busy fucking week, man. It's going to be a lot of content. The Crimson Jihad is now a nuclear power. Woo!